Today is February 28th, end of the month, 2023. Well, this is how far I've gotten on my St. Charles Airline Bridge out of Chicago. I've completed the stairs and you could see the white handrails. They came out pretty nice. And uh, it's been a lot of work, but it, it, every uh, few hours you put in it makes a difference. The span total length is seven feet, five inches. The head stands at three feet. When opened from the base of the bridge, it's uh, 65 inches. Uh, it's weighing in probably at 100 pounds or so. I'm just guesstimating. The concrete weights are 15 pounds each with rebar. And they are adjustable in terms of where to put the weights. That's why it's got those little rectangular holes. And the motor house is operated by a hot racing differential, 25 to 1 ratio. It has um, a warm gear plus a planetary transmission from RC4WD, 16 to 1 ratio. I'm using a 540 motor. 45 turn and two portal axles simply to be able to rotate the heads and fit for fit because it's one to one they don't really do anything so I have 12 bearings total on the head and everything works this has been a real blast this is for my train layout it's all metal the only plastic you see here are the stairs and, and of course, Ralph, he is the watchman. So it gives you an idea of the work I've done. There's my staircase to the top. And that ladder becomes uh, horizontal when it's open and it works. It's got one on each side. And you can see the motor mechanism where the gear is, where that brass little bushing is. It's been fantastic. It's a P32 rack. The gear is 16 tooth P32. And uh, this, this bridge was built 1917. And uh, it's now next to the, I believe it's the B&O bridge and there's a building in between. And so I just assumed it had stairs all the way to the ground at one time. Right now it kind of crosses over into the existing building. But it does work, it's functional. And uh, I'll show you how it works. Here's what it looks like from the rear. I spent seven months on the cage and I've, been, I've made everything by hand. The only machines I have is a bandsaw, a Dremel, okay, a couple of hammers, drills, but it's all imagination, I guess. You make your own jigs. And the weights came out really nice and they work because it's a balanced bridge. And uh, so there she is. The catwalk is almost completed up there. You can see the stairs again. And there's the other ladder in the middle. But it's been pretty, pretty cool. And I'll show you how this opens. They do blow off a siren when this bridge is going to be open. At least they used to. I don't know if it's still functional. I have a, I'm using a Drock transformer. This thing is pretty awesome. It works quite well. It takes about four and a half volts to open it. Or so, maybe five, but the amperage is quite low. And you'll see it open. And there she goes. Oh, with our 110 scale RC parts. How sweet, huh? They fit in that little house. Without these weights, I don't think this would function as well. It's all balanced. Engineering did a wonderful job on this, considering how old is this? Yeah. Stop it around right there. 
So there you go, now it's open. And whatever wants to cross underneath, may cross. It's quite detailed underneath, it needs to be painted. And, uh, too much stuff here. It looks nice. It's quite tall. So I gotta make sure I clear the rafters in my train room, because uh, it's a little on the high side. And that would be the Chicago River. We have some kids already in the water. Look at that. So I got a lot, I have a lot of work left, but I got to get to work on my convertible, my 66 Chevy. And uh, so this is going to have to wait a little longer. You know, unfortunately, we have to do one item at a time. So there's the cage. There's your catwalk. And uh, it looks really nice. I'm real happy with it. You know, you don't know what the outcome is till you're done. All that angle iron you see there, I had to make all that, everything. Just the gussets on the span, there's 48 of them. So you make one, you make another, and you continue, and so on. But the stairs look good, look at that. Go up the stairs, up these stairs. You can go into the, the motor house and maintain it. And uh, so this bridge was built 1917, completed in 1919. And it was relocated in 1930 from 260 feet down to 220. And that's what it is today. So these, this is mimicking a concrete foundation there's my footings, those are real footings. You could step on those, you will not bend them. And they're held with four screws on the outside, plus four quarter 20 screws from under. So it's part of the whole plate, it's, it becomes one. Well, I hope you like my bridge. Bye.